everyone, welcome back to Kids Yoga. And today we're doing Toy Story 4. So I asked all the kids who watch my video and they say that Toy Story 4 is their favorite out of all the Toy Story movies and books. So today we're doing yoga and reading Toy Story 4. So if you watch our other videos, we already did Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. After this video, we're going to do a bonus next time of the pet problem. So that's next time. You ready? Okay. Go ahead and get a stuffed animal from home to be your yoga buddy or friend. Get any stuffed animal. Let's all say hello. I have my teddy bear. Hi, I see yours. Oh, that's a cute one. So you can get any stuffed animal or doll at home. Each time you do yoga with me, you can get a different one or the same one, it doesn't matter. Let's all start out with our teddy bear nose breath. So in yoga, we use breath to get us more in the moment and to relax us and to help us focus. We inhale through our nose and exhale out our mouth. Okay, now let's do that with our friend. Take your stuffed animal or doll at home. Point to the nose. Okay, ready? We're gonna inhale through our nose and bring your friend's nose close to the screen. Oh, good. Now point to your friend's mouth and you exhale out your mouth and let's go back. Good. Okay, point to the nose and let's inhale. Bring your friend's nose, hello. Point to your friend's mouth and let's exhale. Good, one more time. Inhale. I see you. Where is that stuffy animal nose? I see it. Point to the mouth, good, exhale. That was fun. Okay, and then we're gonna end our teddy bear nose breath with a hug. Ready? Inhale, open the arms, and exhale. Hug your stuffed animal or doll at home. That is nice. One more time, because that feels good. Inhale, and exhale. Good, okay. So, we asked all the kids at home why they like Toy Story 4 the most. And they say it's because this is where they get to meet Forky. And they also get to meet a bunny and ducky. So we're gonna start with Forky. Forky has four parts at the top of the head. So we're gonna do a four finger breath. So hold up four fingers. Good. And we're gonna inhale. And exhale, count one, two, three, four. Do that again. Inhale, all fingers up. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Now as we inhale, we're gonna be forky and we're gonna go across the screen like a bunny because there's a bunny in this story. And then we're gonna exhale, lower the fingers. Ready? Inhale, one, two, three, four hops. Exhale, fingers down. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. Inhale, hop. One, two, three, four, like a bunny. Exhale, fingers down. Two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, hop. Bunny, one, two, three, four, good. Fingers down, exhale. One, two, three, four. So we are doing that because there's a fork and there's a bunny. Now let's do a bunny breath. So hold up your bunny ears. Good. And we're gonna hop across the screen. So let's go into our yoga chair pose. So yoga chair pose, you're gonna sit down in a pretend chair. Good. Take your bunny ears here, and we are gonna hop 
across the screen. You ready? So start on one end of the room. Chair pose, I see you. Bunny ears. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now lift your arms up and stretch. And then melt down and stretch down. Uh, okay. So we're going to hop across the screen for four and then melt down for four. Make sure you count. Are you ready? Let's go the other way. Bunny ears, here we go. One, two, three, four. Lift the arms up and down. One, two, three, four. Good. Bunny ears. One, two, three, four. Lift the arms up and down. One, two, three, four. Good. One more time. Here we go. Bunny hop. That's cute. Flip the arms up. Let's stretch down. Oh. Good. That was fun. So why are we counting to four? Because Forky has four things up here. Good. Okay. And there's also, what's that? It's a bird. There's Bunny. And what's the other friend we meet? in this book. Oh, here they are. Bunny and Ducky. Ah. So, let's go ahead and start our story. Okay. Toy Story 4. Oh, so exciting. Howdy, partner. Meet Woody. The sheriff round these parts. Woody loved his kid, Andy and was the leader of the toys in Andy's room. But sometimes he needed help. Thankfully, his best friend, Bo Peep, was always there to lend a hand. Then one day, everything changed. a new kid and Woody was staying behind oh no <laughs> let's see well years later many years later Woody got a new kid too her name was Bonnie Kindergarten orientation. Kindergarten orientation. She was a little nervous. There's Bonnie. Look at all those new kids. Well, luckily, she had a sheriff around. When a boy took all her art supplies. Woody rustled them up along with some new ones. I wonder what they're doing. Bonnie used her imagination to put them together to make a new friend. Hmm, I wonder what new friend they're making. You guys know, right? Ta-da! Forky! with different size eyes, one eyebrow, and popsicle sticks as feet, and a fork as hair. Wow. To Woody's surprise, Forky came to life, just like the other toys. Hey, welcome to the gang. Forky was surprised too. He didn't think he was a toy at all. He was a spork, spoon fork. So when Bonnie's family went on a road trip on the RV, 
Forky made a run for it! Oh no! There's the other toys inside the RV. And Forky made a run for it! Sheriff Woody would never leave anyone behind. He jumped out the window after Forky. So let's go ahead and pretend that we are Forky. Okay, so Forky is made out of what? Two different eyes, one long eyebrow, wiggly arms, and popsicle stick feet. So let's go ahead and start our balance. Take your stuffed animal at home and put it on your head. Okay, now let's take our arms and make wavy arms. Whoa, watch out. Be careful, that stuffed animal might fall. I see you. Good. Now let's make wavy arms in front, but keep that stuffed animal, whoa, on your head. Whoa, I think mine's falling. How are you doing? Good, very good. Very good, that's hard. Ooh, you even have your shoulders moving, good. Okay, let's look at Forky again. So he's a spork, made of a spoon and a fork. So, you see the spoon part right here? And then the fork part here. So let's go ahead and stand with our yoga front in our head. Okay, let's go into chair pose. Good, how you doing? Okay, wave your forky arms. Ooh, good. Okay, now, because forky has four part on the top of the head. Remember that? We are going to jump four times and then wave our arms. While we jump, we're going to hold on to our stuffed animal so it doesn't fall down. Okay? Let's go into chair pose. So we sit back in our pretend chair, hold on to our stuffed animal. You guys ready? Let's jump across the screen like a bunny. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wave your arms like Forky. Good. Hold on to your friend. Lift up, stretch, and come down, stretch. Ah. Oh. Good. Let's try that again. Why are we hopping? Because we're also going to meet Bunny later. You ready? So go in chair pose. Here we go. Yoga front on your head. Hold on to your friend, up. Huh? One, two, three, four. Wave your arms like Forky. Ow, good job. Lift up, stretch, and come down. Ah, oh, good. Okay, that was fun. Now, let's go ahead and pretend that we have popsicle stick feet. So, we're gonna take our legs and sit down and take our popsicle stick legs out. So go ahead and sit down, take your popsicle stick legs out. Okay, good. We're gonna take our friend on our head. Here we go, hold your friend there. And if you want, maybe hold with one hand or even let go of both and wave your arms. You are just like Forky. Good. Pick up your yoga front and then stretch to one popsicle stick leg. Good. And lift up. Stretch your front to the other popsicle stick leg. Okay, let's try that again. Yoga foot in your head. Let's be like Forky. We have our popsicle stick legs out, and then we have our wavy arms. How you doing? Ooh, good. Whoa, good balance, good focus. 
focus. Okay, ready to stretch? Here we go, Forkies. Pick up your yoga friend. I see you. And then stretch towards one popsicle stick leg. Ah, reach. You got it. Let's stretch our friend up again. Reach to the other popsicle stick leg. Ah. Good. Okay. One more time. Yoga foot on your head. You guys are ready. You guys are doing great. Show me how to do this. Ooh, good wavy, forky arms. Good. Can you wave your arms in the front? Whoa. Can you wave your arms in the air? Up above you? Ooh, good balance. I see that stuffed animal in your head. Okay, ready? Stretch your yoga friends up one more time and reach to that popsicle stick leg. Ah. Ooh, that feels good. Good stretch, guys. Okay, other side. Yoga friend up. This is the last one, and we'll go back to the story. And reach. Ah. Long popsicle stick legs. Okay, let's come up. Great job, guys. So we've been bouncing around like a bunny rabbit. We have been waving our arms like Forky, stretching to our popsicle stick legs. So hopefully we'll meet the bunny rabbit soon. Here we go, back to our story. Woody took Forky to the next town to catch up with Bonnie. Then something in the window of an antique store caught their eye. What did, what caught their eye? Well, there is Forky, and there's Woody, and there's the store window they're looking in. <gasps> they're looking at a lamp that has sheep on it. Why are they looking at a lamp with sheep on it? Well, they know a friend named Bo. And remember, Bo got to go to a different family? So let's find out. Well, Woody and Forky went into the store. Instead of finding Bo, they saw a doll named Gabby Gabby. There's Gabby Gabby. She seemed friendly at first, but then she said she wanted Woody's voice box. <gasps> oh no. She told her team to capture Woody and Forky. <gasps> Is that her team? Oh no. So, well, Woody escaped to a nearby playground where she where he saw a familiar face Bo Peep She and her tiny friend Giggle McDimples Oh there's Giggle McDimples way up there You see that Tiny We're traveling with a group of toys to find kids to play with. Bo said she would help Woody rescue Forky. Well, we are going to be really tiny, just like Giggle McDimples. You ready to get really, really tiny? So let's go ahead and take our yoga friend and go in child pose. Remember child pose? Yep. I see you. Here we go. Okay. Really tiny. You can put your yoga friend here if you like. Take your arms down by your feet. Round your back. Oh, small. Good. Okay. Now after we get really small, we are going to 
come up and then pretend that we are Gabby Gabby. And we are trying to steal Woody's voice box. So let's go ahead and get really small. Like Giggle McDimples. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into our carriage. So, ready? Here we go. Get really tiny, like Giggle McDimples, really tiny. Good. And then come up, get into your carriage, put your yoga friend on your lap. Stretch your arms and legs, woo! And let's go ahead and go in a car ride. So we're in our carriage, and now we want to steal Woody's voice box. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to roll back, roll, and roll forward and up, and then hop around. I see you. Are you hopping? Good. And then stretch up and stretch down. Oh. Let's try that again. So we're gonna try and steal Woody's voice box. So let's take our yoga friend and pretend our yoga friend is Woody's voice box. And put our yoga friend over here. How about over here? Put your yoga friend somewhere. Okay, that is Woody's voice box. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and get really small like Giggle McDimples. Really tiny, very small. I see you. And then we're gonna go ahead and be like Gabby, Gabby, get in our carriage. Stretch out our arms and legs, woo. Good. And then we're gonna come and roll like a ball. I see you. Roll up into our chair pose. And then we're gonna hop around like our bunny. I see you. Stretch up and stretch down. Oh. Did we find Woody's voice box yet? No, let's do it again. You ready? Here we go. Get really tiny. So there's Gabby Gabby in the stroller or carriage like we were. And there's Tiny Giga McDimples just like we were. Well, good thing we're hopping around like a bunny because now we get to meet the bunny. 
Meanwhile, Buzz Lightyear was searching for Woody and Forky. The brave Space Ranger followed their trail to a carnival, but he got stuck to a prize wall. He met a couple of toys, Ducky and Bunny. Buzz accidentally set both of them free. Yay! Let's go ahead and do some more bunny stretches. Let's go ahead, put our yoga front in our head. Chair pose. Good, show me your forky arms. Are you sitting in a chair pose? Good balance. Whoa, good. Okay, pick up your yoga friend and let's stretch down again. Oh. Let's go ahead and hop around like a bunny. I see you. Okay, now let's do a bunny balance because bunnies can balance. Bunnies can do yoga. So we're going to put our yoga front in our head. We are in a bunny hop position. Good. Balance and pick up one bunny leg. Good. I see you. Now reach out one bunny arm and hold that bunny leg up. Can you let go of your yoga friend on your head? Good. Can you leave that leg up and then wiggle your bunny ears? Wave your bunny ears. I see you. 
and then bunny ears down. Ah. Coming up, wave your bunny ears. that were trying to steal Woody's voice box. Forky was trapped in a tall cabinet. Can you find Forky? I see Forky with Gabby Gabby, uh-oh. The store cat dragon. The store cat dragon roamed the aisles, looking for stray toys to gobble up. The friends had to figure out a plan. Well, here we go. We get to meet Canada's greatest stuntman. Bo found Duke Kaboom. He would help rescue Forky 
as well as Bo's sheep. They had been captured too. So, how do they do that? Well, let's find out. Duke leaped across the aisle to the cabinet, but he didn't make it. Dragon the cat spotted him and the toys. Bo found her sheep just as Dragon began to chase Duke. The toys held on tight. Oh my gosh, they're riding Dragon the cat. Everybody looks like they're holding hands or paws. What's at the very end? That, it looks like... Who's that? That's Buzz Lightyear at the very end. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and do a cat stretch. And then we're going to do Buzz Lightyear. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Come down on all fours. You ready? We're gonna go ahead and be dragging the cat. Stretch the back. And then bow down the back. Do a few V's, ooh. Good. Go ahead and come back and stretch back. Come back on all fours, stretch our back. the store, but Forky was still inside. Most of the group was, a was too tired and scared to try a new plan. They decided to leave. Well, uh-oh. But Woody still needed to get Forky. He made a deal with Gabby Gabby. In exchange for Forky, he gave her his voice box and he would take her to Bonnie so she would have a kid too. Oh no, let's see what happens. 
The toys returned to help Woody and Gabby Gabby. But there was only one way to reach Bonnie. They went to the carnival and rode to the top of the Ferris wheel. Then they tied a long string around Duke's bike. Okay, so here is Duke. They have a long string around his bike. I wonder why. Duke took a deep breath, revved his engine, and soared over the crowd. Whoa! So he was over here on the Ferris wheel and went, whoa. Look at him with his legs up. We can do that. Let's go ahead and land the ground and kick our legs up. Just like Duke. Ready? Let's go ahead and count down. Reach your legs and fly. Can you reach back for your feet and stretch for a big leap? Good. Let's go ahead, come back up, sit down, and come into our chair pose. Good. Lift up and stretch the arms up and down. Good. We're gonna go ahead and come down to our belly and fly. And reach back for your feet. Go ahead and bigger fly. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Let's do that again. Go ahead, roll back. Come in chair pose. Are you ready? Here we go. We're gonna come up and come down and ready to fly. Go to your belly and fly. Soar all over the crowd. Reach back your feet. Even bigger fly. Good. Let's go ahead and come up to our knees. And let's go ahead and sit down just like the Ferris wheel. Roll around like the Ferris wheel. Let's go ahead and come up. Chair pose. Let's go ahead and reach up, stretch. Come down. Ah. Ready to fly just like Duke. Good. Reach back for your feet, big fly. Woo! So they came from the Ferris wheel. Let's try it again. Ready, go back, roll around just like the Ferris wheel. Oh, I like this part, good. And we're gonna roll up. Ready, come up, stretch, come down, ah. Ready to fly, here we go, and our bellies fly. Good, just like Duke, reach back for your feet. We are really going really far flying. Good. Okay, so Duke was flying all over the crowd. From the Ferris wheel, his feet were kicking up just like ours. Fireworks. And let's see what happens. Well, this looks happy. Thanks to Duke, the toy zipped around the carnival on a string. Then Gabby Gabby noticed a girl who was lost and needed a friend. Gabby Gabby was perfect for her. The girl hugged the dog close just before she found her parents. Gabby Gabby got a kid. Aww. The toys found Bonnie. She was thrilled to see Forky again. Yay! Woody loved seeing the two of them so happy. And she was glad to be reunited with his friends. 
Look, she even drew a picture of Forky. So everybody is happy. Well, at the very end, Woody realized that lost and lonely toys were everywhere. And he wanted to help them. He knew that with Bo and their friends, he could accomplish anything. So let's go ahead and do another Ferris wheel stretch. See the Ferris wheel here? What are some ways that we can be the Ferris wheel? Let's go ahead and take our yoga friend, stand up and let's be a Ferris wheel. Ready? Go ahead and stretch to one side and triangle. And then circle your yoga friend just like your friend is moving on the Ferris wheel. Good. Circle your yoga friend the other way. Good. Let's try the other side. We're on the Ferris wheel. And then your friend goes around. All of the toys can be on the Ferris wheel going around. Good. And let's try the other way. Now, the stunt man came off the Ferris wheel. So let's go ahead and pretend that we are stunt man again. Let's go ahead and come down and fly. Good. Reach for your feet, big flying. Oh, good. Okay, what's another way that we can be round like a Ferris wheel? Let's go ahead and go on our back and wheel. Lift up and be round in wheel pose. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll around. Get some movement. Good. Come up in chair pose. And then reach the arms up and stretch down. Oh. Ready to fly. Here we go. Fly. Good. Reach back for your feet, big flying. I see you. And come up. Roll around. Get some moving. Good. Coming up to our chair pose. Let's add some bunny hops here. Ready? Bunny hops. I see you. Show me some forky arms. Good. Bunny hops. I see you. <laughs> forky arms. Good. Let's do our balance. Put your yoga friend on your head. Here we go. Forky arms. Whoa. Okay. Pick up one leg. Show me your bunny ears. Good. Okay. Let's try the other side. One leg. Show me your bunny ears. Good. Okay, we're gonna go back to our bunny. Let's go ahead and take one leg forward. Put your yoga front down. Show me your forky arms. Bunny ears. Good. Come down and stretch. Ah. Okay, try the other leg. Other leg forward. How you doing? I see you. Okay. Forky arms. And then bunny ears. Good. And stretch down. Ah. Oh. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take our forky legs 
today. We did chair pose, we did triangle pose. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and take our bunny ears. I see you. Did you have fun today? Let's end with our four count breath because Forky has four points up here. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna go ahead, jump across the screen like a bunny. One, two, three, four, and then four fingers down. One, two, three, four. Let's do our breath. Here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Good, are you breathing? Inhale, bunny jumps, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Try the other hand. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try this. Inhale, one, two, three, 
four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. One more. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Ah. Go ahead and return to some more peaceful breath as we're done today. Hands in prayer. Inhale, rise the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart. One more time. Inhale, rise the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower to your heart. I hope you had fun today. We always end our yoga by saying namaste. What does namaste mean? The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Thank you guys. So next time we're gonna have a bonus of doing the pet problem. And that has all of our friends from all the toy stories. Thank you guys, bye.